Chatty Bobby 1130, Battle Raps of Dusty Roads. Um, I'm just a common man living the American dream, and I got some motherfucking bionic elbows, you hear me? And I have been waiting on this loaded Lux and Aver battle for seven years. And it did not live up uh, to my what I hoped. I think a lot of it was the crowd. A lot of it was the time they went on. They went on last. It was super late. I have Verb 3-0. Uh, you can hate if you want. I've been seeing people saying Lux 3-0. There's no way Lux won this battle 3-0. I think you can argue that Verb edged every round. People are saying that he clearly lost the second. He did not clearly lose the second. I did. I don't have a lot written down from either because it's very hard to write down their bars because there's so much wordplay being in there and you can't go back on a, on a live watch. You know what I'm saying? I think that Lux's first round was okay. Um, he had a couple of cool lines, but he had a lot of like what people consider filler with Lux. To me, it's like maybe it's it's just like building blocks but it didn't ever really get to anything. It didn't ever get to like a haymaker or like a really dope like punch. Um, he had a, uh, get you don't get the pick till it's cropped. He had a little picture scheme that was cool. Um, but he didn't really have a lot of dope, amazing content to me in the first round. It was, he got cut off. I just thought it was a light round, honestly. Um, Verb's round started off light too. He didn't have a great round to start off. He had a cool Ben Simmons with a jump shot line, like I'm dangerous, but I'm Ben Simmons with a jump shot. I thought that was cool. Verb got on a good little tear with like his type of wordplay. Um, he had a really cool line to me where he said, um, "You, you know, I never throw the towel in. You never take your towel off." Talking about Lux never coming out, coming out and battling. I thought that was cool. I got Verb edging the first, but I don't think either one of their first was that good. Um, round two. I thought uh, Lux's round two was really dope. Um, he had a whole digest scheme. Um, you're going to digest or die just to be the shit. That was crazy. That whole scheme was crazy. Um, he had a, a rapping with Hollow. Um, you had a rap. This was back when you was rapping with Hollow. You know, you show time, but not at the Apollo. That was crazy. He had a gum bars uh, on the car. All these gum bars on the car. Uh, Smack finally got Lux to finally load this nine. It was like a cool, like, way out. He delivered it really dope. It was awesome. He had a little ARP angle about Verb, Duck and Iron Solomon and stuff like that, which it looked kind of awkward because Smack was standing right there. It was just funny. Um, and then he had a whole, like, angle with offset. Like, talking about this, uh, skirt. Yeah, and he was talking about amigos take that skirt off. Like, talking about ad libs because they say skirt all the time. But Verb, he was talking about skirt, like, be a man, which I didn't really get that, I guess because he said Verb bitches about the time, but Verb's always out battling in every kind of, you know, whatever. Um, he had, a, he said, I cracked a head, I had to Whitney a dude in Houston, that was dope. Lux's second round was really, really good. Um, Verb's second round was really good too, though, man. He left Earth to me, I thought. Um, it was just constant, I mean... He had a um, picture open, picture open heart, like a locket chain, talking about open heart surgery, like fucking with him or whatever. He said, spin the wheel like I'm Dr. Like Strange. Talking about Lux spinning the wheel like, which people said that was a 10-4. I've heard of doctor, several Dr. Strange. I heard Goods do one, but it was about moving blocks. It wasn't about spinning the wheel. So I don't know if somebody else said that. A lot of people were hating on Bourbon, the angry fan group, uh, which that is what it is. He was talking about Lux running so long. He said, nobody's going to clap when the ribbon tears like you're running a marathon and you've been running so long. It was cold, like a whole little scheme that he had. Um, and then he had like a, how you get up there. Talking about, I'm talking to your soul. It's well, you know, how you get up there. He had a whole little scheme of that that I thought was cool. Um, he said, even when you go on, the game ain't going to miss you. Uh, playing like you're playing Fortnite because the game keep going, you know, when you're not around. I thought, and Verb had so many gems in there too. Lux's second was incredible. So was Verb's. I just edged Verb's second better. I just think he had more direct at Lux, like, and the wordplay was crazy. So I got it 2-0 going into the third, and Lux's third round was very drawn out, and it was this whole scheme. He had a whole inner with the perm. He liked you better with the perm, because uh, at least you knew you had your head on straight. That was a dope line. 
And then he had this long drawn out story about the time limits. And then he got one of his buddies to like jump in and say, yeah, we called you and you didn't answer the phone. It was like, the crowd booted. I was like, what? that didn't hit at all. Like he was talking about verb bitching about the time or whatever. It just, it did not hit at all. And that was 90% of his third round. And that was pretty much Lux's third. It didn't really have much to it after that. That was pretty much it. Um, Verbs round three was dope. He had a, a cool like NY angle starting out. He said, I'm Moses, me and a stick, no staff like it. That was dope. And then he starts going into that verb um, bag, um, like the word play and stuff. People say it's filler, but you could say that about Lux's as well. I just think I just like verbs runs that he had better. And he was he was right at Lux the whole time. There was dry spots in Lux's round to me. Less less dry spots from Verb. He said, "I'm an animal. Why you think I reek of goat?" That was crazy, because he's the he think he's saying he's the goat. That was dope. He said he was talking about like people talking about how he loses on small leagues. Basically, he was talking about. He said, "You know, if I hit all the game winners, who cares if I miss the free throws?" That was crazy. That was a crazy line because it's true. Because nobody's gonna remember. It. Who cares if Verb half assed a one rounder three years ago if he beat Mook and Lux, you know what I mean? And he was just talking to him, I thought, man. I thought Verb clearly won this battle 2 1. I think he clearly won the third, and I think he clearly won the first. The second people are going to debate, I don't know how people could debate the first round from Lux and Verb. I guess you can because they both were kind of light. But either way, Verb won because he. Stood in there with Lux, and just like the Mook battle, he proved a lot of people wrong. I have Verb 3-0. Um, hate it if you want. That's all first watch. Y'all be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, all that good stuff. Peace. And by the way, be sure to comment in the description or comment below and tell me how wrong I am. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good and fun. Peace.